Hey, what's up everybody? This is Russ with rwgresearch.com and today in this video I'm going to kind of talk about what is going to happen in the future here. What's going on? How's it going to work? What my plan is and how I have to go about it. Um, terrible white bad lighting. I hate the lighting down here. Maybe my hat will help. There you go. But anyway, um, <clears throat> i got lots to tell you about. Uh, some of it implies with the uh, gas gun, hydrogen gas gun, EPG, how things work, um, some other stuff I'm working on that has to be incorporated with this, everything. So I'm just going to get started. Um, what I really, really, really need everyone's uh, help on is spreading the word. Um, I do need um, like funding of some sort to really put this stuff together. Um, the donations have got me where I am and it's keeping me going. And everyone that has donated, um, I will be posting a video on that. I'm trying to collaborate all the information. There's a lot there. A lot of you have donated. I thank you for that. But I need, I need you guys to spread the word. Um, get the website out there. Get the donation link out there. Um, really just bring them to the website so they can see it for themselves. I will try to update the website because i got a lot of information that I haven't updated lately. And also bring them over to the forums. That's at open Dash in, uh, source dash energy dot org, but you can get to it through my website, um, and that's what I really need. I need, I need a like an actual person or people willing to donate, you know, a lot, a lot of money, you know, a couple grand would be a a, a great start. That should, I mean, that would go a long way. Um, one of the reasons is the LEDs which I have. Um, per purchased for the gas gun. I've got some red uh, and the other. Uh, I got two reds. One's uh, 660 nanometers and one is 630 nanometers. I'm pretty sure I need the 630. I did find another person that's kind of working on the gas gun and has been before me. And uh, hopefully I can get him to the forums and share his information. But he believes 630 nanometers. Now here's the other thing. In order to make the um, gas for the EPG, I need 750 nanometers, um, and he he only saw one place that makes them. They're like two dollars and sixty cents a piece, I believe, and I need about sixty of them. Uh, so you do the math, and these are the kind of things. Those are just for the LEDs. Um, so I'm I'm kind of I'm trying to figure out what I need to do and how I'm going to do it, uh, and that's what this video is about. But I really need a, a deep uh, a deep funding of some sort, but I, I can't be tied up. It needs to be open source and public. Um, so I, it really needs to be a donation of some sort. So if anybody or anybody you know or, um, you know, or whatever, uh, if everybody would to, were to donate like a dollar, if every one of my subscribers were to donate a dollar, I'd have a thousand dollars to be able to put towards this research. Now, uh, that's just a thought I'm throwing out there to, to think of it as a whole. But I'm going to let you guys do what you do. People have donated. Uh, you've, you've given your resources. I can't ask for more. I just want to say thank you. Okay, back to the information. I got a lot to do. Short amount of time. All right, hydrogen gas gun. I've got my coils on there. Um, I'm going to actually be redoing these a little different because I want to show you some schematics that are going to change this. Um, the infrared LEDs on there should be good for. Um, the oxygen is what I want to be able to extract the electrons from because the hydrogen should only have one or two electrons and I want to take there's uh, at least eight on the, on the oxygen most of the time and you want to take at least four of those away um, at least that many so you need a lot of light energy and so what I've got is a couple of different reds but now I know that um, I need probably 630 and I'm glad I bought two different types because I did my research One's actually to ionize the hydrogen. One's actually ionize the oxygen. Okay, and then the UV is actually on the right scale for what I want for the oxygen side. I believe, I'm pretty sure. Um, so there's that, and I, I still need to work with this. I need to do more about it. Um, most of you, right now, this is the VIC circuit that I've basically traced out of the of the hydrogen gas gun here. Okay, get a good look at it. Now there's supposed to be an, an extractor plate in here to actually take away the electrons, the negative electrons. You put it to a, a positive potential and it'll take away the negative electrons and actually you can use it for electricity production. I don't know how much that'll be, but it's obviously enough to light a light bulb because that's what you're supposed to use in the patents you can see. Um, so you can see the chamber, the inside, the outside, and the extraction grid. Alright, and it goes through a light bulb 
out to a positive voltage. All right, that's how this works. You you ionize the oxygen, you take away its electrons, and you extract it through that extraction grid. Now, most of you have seen that diagram. Here's the hydrogen gas gun in the patent. If you guys haven't seen it, um, this patent is four eight two six five eight one. But there are two patents that I know of, and the um, water fuel cell memo 420, which talks about this information. Now, what I want to tell you is that on these, you can see the extractor grid on there. Okay. Well, there's in the in the actual final portion of information, there are there's this diagram. Okay, and the extractor grid is actually the outside plate and it just switches between putting energy in and being able to take energy out. This is hooked up to a, these are, these are opposite. So when this is on, this is off, this is off, this is on, and vice versa. And you send this a signal, there's a logic gate here, and these are uh, a logic controller, like some sort of a uh, uh, power transferring device. And which I have to actually figure that one out yet, because it's not really anywhere I found. But um, basically, you know, you're able to extract electrons without the extraction grid. Okay, and the VI circuit, VIC circuit is here. Now, personally, I don't think the VIC circuit needs to be on this. Although, if the gas is going to be used as a gas core transformer, you see, which is the um, particle accelerator here that the, uh, the copper EPG, well, this was implementing the use of gas as a core for the VIC transformer, the voltage intensifier circuit, which is a very interesting concept. He combined the two together. One, I think to use the magnetic properties of the coils going on here, and two, to use the gas to combine the whole thing into one small system. How smart was that? Um, I believe that's what's going on. And so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to redo this with the extraction grid to play with that, and and try it like this. Okay, those are two things that I have to try. Um, it's gonna be, it's just gonna take a lot of time um, to do these experiments, and I'm gonna use different colored LEDs at different points in time to try out what I need to do, um, which works best, what's going on here. Um, the other thing is I've been working on an actual water fuel cell. Um, like replication um, to specifications which I know of and I will be releasing some diagrams that I um, have had Bill um, Bill Williams has drawn up for me me and him worked on the design that's gonna be hard to see but that's basically what they look like okay uh, these are drawings I will be giving these drawings out later not at the moment but I will be um, but the VIC circuit, um, I've actually created these bobbins from a, man that lighting's horrible, I apologize. But these bobbins are to specification of the original VIC. Um, awesome lighting guy, huh? Uh, okay, anyway. The VIC um, to the original specifications and I will be building this and testing it on a cell because I have to know how the VIC functions in order to get the gas gun to function the same way and it will be easier to use with the water capacitor than it would be with the gas capacitor because the values are so different um, here's the lovely mess when I made these I made these out of two inch round stock and uh, you can see I had some fun I will be making more of these and I would like to go live when I do that because it was really funny because stuff was just flying everywhere It'd be enjoyable for you guys to watch, so I hope to be doing doing some more live. Been busy with the family lately, trying to catch up on things. Um, okay, now one thing I have to go back and do. Well, let me say this. Okay, I'm gonna knock them over more times than once today. Basically, in order to understand how to properly make a magnetic gas lattice, you have to be able to extract electrons from a gas. So this has got to work first in order to do that in a very efficient manner. Um, and by extracting the electrons, you know it's working by the filament here that will be lighting up the light bulb or the amp consuming device. Um, I really encourage you guys, I will put the information together for you in this video. 
Um, I'll try to post it in the description. Okay. But basically, that's what needs to happen. This needs to happen first. Okay. And then to be able to make the gas for this puppy, that's what needs to happen. Now, I showed you guys I soldered these together. I have a feeling I'm going to have to unsolder those um, because I think I want this to be a considered a coil um, by itself. And with it soldered together, it's like a dead short. So I'm going to unsolder that. I'm just going to heat it up and blow air through there and put some sort of a clamp on there. I did get one spool of wire. Um, and I ordered one, and I thought one spool of wire of 11 pounds of number 22 should be enough. Well, I did some calculations. There are approximately 81 coils, depending on which EPG you look at. 81 coils, okay, at a minimum of 125 foot per coil, which is not very much wire. I would need close to 2 miles of wire. This is 5,500 and some feet, okay? I need at least two of these, so I have to make another wire purchase. I'm going to use this up first and then purchase the next bundle because I want to make sure calculations are correct. But at 81 coils, at 125 feet per coil, which is not much wire, um, you do the math, okay? The other thing is, I was going to cut out these nice, these are paper, but these are for... Um, there's two different sizes here, if I can get it in my hand. Two different sizes here. One's for the uh, four and one's for the three pipe, depending on what side of the EPG. These are the dividers. I had looked up how much these were going to be to water jet out of a thin plastic, and it was almost $200. So basically, I'll be cutting these by hand, and it's going to take me a good while. It's going to make some sort of a punch or a press, and I, I still might do that, um, but I have to get the plastic and stuff for that yet. I was going to use CDs, but... I might have to just find some thin plastic. I'm hoping I can get something at a um, at a local um, craft store. But uh, I calculated what it would take to wrap these, and at approximately 20 minutes a coil, maybe less than that, I got 80 coils. You do the math. Uh, let's just say I get an hour to two hours a day to work on this. It's going to take me anywhere from half a month to a month just to wrap wire. Now, if I get rocking out and I get doing it and I get wrapping it, I might be all right. But, um, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of time. Um, so there, there's a lot of interesting things coming up. Um, the VIC here in the water fuel cell actually working. I have full confidence in the ability to get this stuff working with the help of you and other people. Um, it, it's going to take, take a group effort here. Um, there's already great, a great amount of people that are helping and a great amount of people that are watching these videos but what I need you to do is to, to spread the word um, I really need to find some sort of an investor that's going to give me money and be able to open source this information I can't be tied down um, so just let me know if you guys know anything um, go to the website rwgresearch.com my email is also rwg42985 at aol.com but if you go to the website send the person to a website you know, do that. Um, there's a Facebook group that I'm not actually a part of, but is set up. You can contribute uh, over there. It's uh, RWG Research um, on Facebook. Um, there's another guy, William. I believe that's properly said. Um, Will. Now you're gonna confuse me. I gotta look. I oh, can't figure it out. Anyway, I know that's who it is. He set that up for me. I'm running out of time here. I think I'm only allowed 15 minute videos now because waterfuelcell.org decided to uh, said I was copywriting one of their videos by just replaying it. Even though it's uploaded all over YouTube and they're not taken down. Uh, the part 2 of the EPG lecture, yeah, you can find it elsewhere but not on my channel. So I think now I'm only limited to 15 minutes. Uh, pretty disappointed there. I don't think they can do that but I uh, don't really have much time to figure that out right now. Anyway, I'm running out of time here. I just want to uh, tell you what's going on. Um, I'm working on this stuff, testing it. I will be put playing more videos, putting, posting more videos, and doing more online uh, stuff because that was real fun. So this is Russ with RWG Research. Peace. Spread the word. Uh, Godspeed with you. Be blessed. Peace.